Hey guys, Aaron here from Practically Every Day, and I am coming at you with what I would like to call a single piece tool review. This is um, a single piece tool made by a custom knife maker by the name of Jared Price. Um, if you're not familiar with single piece tools, uh, some examples that you might know of are um, Peter Atwood. Uh, he makes a bunch of them, that's what he's famous for. Um, you'll see some reviews of his coming in the future. You should also be aware of the Gerber Shard. Um, keychain tool, single piece tool, kind of the same thing. Basically, it's a single piece of cut steel, titanium, whatever, that serves a function in a bunch of different roles. This, I think, is a great example of one that I'm going to show you. Um, there are going to be a few more coming up in the future, and, and I think that there are pros and cons to those also. So just kind of stay tuned and you'll see those. But um, this is the Jared Price Toucan. Let me focus in here for you. So um, when you order it from Jared, you get it in this little Kydex sheath here, and there's the tool. Um, basically what the Toucan is, is it's a single piece tool and you have a cutting edge, you have a um, flat head screwdriver here, you have a prying tip and you have a cap lifter or a bottle opener. The prying tip can also double as a nail puller or also a flat head screwdriver. Um, if you're familiar with Atwood tools, Atwood is really sort of the grandfather of single piece tool design and building. And his sharps, which would be bladed tools, are insanely expensive because he doesn't make them very much. One of his tools called the Mini Son of Pry thing went on um, eBay like a few weeks back for um, almost $800. So there's that. Um, these can be had from Jared for about $85. They're also listed on GPK, and I will put a link to those in the bottom, both Jared's website and GPK's um, listing for his. But um, I'm just going to do a quick review. I will do a full and thorough write-up of um, the toucan on practicallyeveryday.com, which is linked in the description. So check that out so you can uh, and get a more in-depth review if it's something that you're interested in. But basically, you have a cutting edge, which is sharpened. Um, it's not the sharpest blade I've ever handled, but you need to keep in perspective what you're actually going to be using this tool for. You're going to open mail. You're going to open a box with this tool. This is not going to be a hard-cutting, high-performance blade. With that said, it is a solid piece of 154 cm steel, so the edge should hold up fairly, fairly well, and it's not... Like a, you know, I, I'm, I'm proving my point here. This is not razor sharp. So, that's okay though. It'll open an envelope, it'll open a box. That's really all I feel you could expect from this. But, um... So there you go. In addition to that, you have a bottle opener, which I don't happen to have a beer handy, but it will, um... It looks as if it'll serve that purpose perfectly fine. You have a flathead screwdriver here, which I think is kind of a miss, because this works as a flathead screwdriver. I had to use this today on set to uh, loosen a flathead screw that was on the head of a flash that I was using, and it worked great. This will also work as a, um, a scraper, if you need to scrape up tape or something like that, and I think it would function quite well as a um, nail puller because of this sort of angled cut. You could get it underneath a nail and then pop it up. You'd have some leverage with uh, with sort of that angle. So overall, I think it's a highly functional tool. The two um, non-sharp tools are usable while in the Kydex. You, don't have, you can get a grip on it. You don't have to worry about cutting yourself. Um, and it carries relatively easily on the keychain. It's a little bulkier than some of the keys that I have, but I think it works, it works well. Um, the Kydex sheath has good retention. It's not going to fall out if you don't want it to, so you don't need to worry about losing it. But it'll also deploy pretty reliably when you want. Um, it's comfortable. Got a good jimping here if you were actually going to bear down and cut something, which it would do fine. It's just not a high-performance knife. It is a multi-use tool. It's a multi-tool, essentially. It's, you know, an early version of something like a Leatherman, except that it doesn't fold. Um... But uh, Jared's a great guy to deal with. Just send him an email and, and he can get you on the list. They come in different blade shapes. You can find This is the sheep's foot, but they also have drop point, And I've seen chisel tip that have two sharpened edges, which I might try and get one of those sometime in the future. But um, 
Yeah, I think that's it. I think that for, uh, and these are about $80, I think for $80, these are a cool little collector's piece, user tool, something along those lines. Um, I'm going to talk about some Atwood tools and some upcoming reviews, but in a way I think this might be a little bit better of a um, user because they are available. You can order one and he puts you on a list and you get one delivered to you within, you know, a couple of weeks. Whereas a Peter Atwood tool, they're available when he makes them, and um, you wouldn't want to use a bladed Atwood tool just because they're worth too much freaking money, guys. I mean, that many cent of pry thing, when it went for over 800 bucks, I was shocked. So, with all that said, this is probably a great bet if you want something that's highly functional. I've been surprised how much I've used it. I was skeptical when I bought it that it would get used very much, and um, I'm kind of surprised how much it's actually seen use so yeah but anyways um that's all i'm going to say about it for now go over to practicallyeveryday.com and there will be a full write-up regarding this and uh yeah i think that's it thanks a lot guys it's aaron out of here